here's David in Los Angeles. What's up, David? Hi, Eddie. I can answer the question about if Alex Van Halen is going to show up at the Sammy Hagar gig. And as you know, I know Alex. I had dinner with him and his wife on Saturday. I'm here to tell you, in no uncertain terms, there's zero percent chance that Alex is going to be showing up. I believe no, that. Tickets, they, you know, and 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 to the answer of how do you think he feels about it? You know, he's indifferent. He doesn't care. He doesn't like Sammy. Now, I, I know that Sammy was on your show uh, with the interview recently. Alex doesn't like Sammy because of what Sammy wrote about his brother Ed in his book exploiting, you know, Eddie had a disease of alcoholism and he certainly exploited that by talking a lot of trash about Ed that that it's a lifetime bridge burner. Alex isn't going to forgive that. Okay. Um, does he wish bad against Sammy? No. You know, is he going to prevent anything? No. But, you know, Al's the kind of guy, he sold all his drums and all his memorabilia, no sentimental value attached. He's moved on. That's the kind of guy hey, he David, is. Hey, David, let me ask you something, because, again, I don't know Alex at all. But let me ask you a question. Why, and I don't know if you've talked to him about this, uh, but why didn't he follow through when he initially started this ball rolling with Satriani about doing something for his brother shortly after he died? Why did they not follow through with it? Do you know? Dave is extremely difficult. Now, I'm not a medical doctor, but if I was, he's clinically mentally ill. He's impossible to deal with. There's been other Van Halen things that might have happened. Dave is just a nutcase that's impossible to deal with. And let me ask you this, Eddie. What if you said to David Lee Roth, gee, we need to have like some visuals of Ed in the back during the concert, maybe run a video montage or some pictures. What have you said to Alex? Hey, I don't, I don't want to hear about your fucking brother. No, there's not going to be any talk about your brother. What if you said that to Alex Van Halen? Well, you think so, it would so, so, happen? so David, I know. And again, I don't know Roth either, but I've heard all the stories and I know that that's one of the reasons why there's such a log jam and inability for certain Van Halen stuff to come out with, with Roth, which is why I think the pipeline's open for Sammy stuff right now, and we're seeing those reissues. But my question is this, which is the pro I understand that Roth is difficult, but my question is why are they dealing with him then? You don't they didn't need him to do that. The focus wouldn't have been on who's singing, it would have been on all the guest guitar players playing tribute to paying tribute to his brother. So you could get anybody out there to sing. You could get Ralph from Steel Panther, you could get anybody. The 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 focus was going to be on celebrating Eddie, not the singer. So why didn't he just do it around Roth? Roth can't stop him from doing a show. Well, you know, I think that he felt that, you know, do it with Roth. Um, he wouldn't, you know, Eddie, you have, I agree with you that like the Foo Fighters, when they did it to Taylor, it was a lot of different people. You know, Alex didn't take that approach, whether he thought of it and didn't want to do it that way. Maybe he felt like do it with Roth. And if not, you know, Alex cares about something to a certain point. Then it's like, never mind. Um, like, put it this way. A lot of people, you know, here's something that bothers me What Sammy says. Gee, Alex just doesn't want to play without his brother, Ed. Well, he was willing. He was talking about doing something with Roth. Now, here's the thing. When it didn't work out with Roth, he didn't call Sammy. He wasn't willing to do it with Sammy. Alex yeah, there didn't is want to work with Sammy. Yeah, well, clearly, because Sammy said he won't return any text or anything. Thank you, David. I got to run. Again, the whole dynamic with this is all just so crazy. And and all these little insights that you get just explain why we can't get any thing from the Van Halen archives. But again, I go back to no, no matter how Alex does or doesn't feel about Sammy, th the point was lost here. Because a tribute to his brother would be about his brother and the guitar players. Not about who's singing. I don't care if it's Sammy, Dave, Gary Sharon, whoever. If you're doing a tribute, tribute to Eddie Van Halen, it's about Eddie and guitar and the masses that he influenced. 
So you could put any band up there. You could put a great band together. Sure, Alex could play drums. Ideally, Michael would come out and play bass. Ideally, Roth and Hagar would do a few songs. But even if none of that can happen, if you got Alex on drums, you, we know they reached out to Jason Newstead. You got Jason there. Of course, we're all forgetting you get you plug Wolfgang in. Okay, there's your band. There's your band. And then you get the who's who of guitar players to play their favorite Van Halen songs. Satriani, Vi, John Five, Nuno Betancourt, on and on. Man, I just watched f- footage of my concert in December. Jason Hook destroyed in the best of way playing Van Halen. So you could have this amazing 20 different guitar players all paying tribute to the king. No one would say no to that. Ingve would do it. You know, Any, everyone would do it. That's the sell. Who cares who's singing? They, and, and whoever doesn't want to come to the party, that's on them. You don't need it. That's, my, that's where I get lost in all of this as to why it fell apart like it did. I mean, I would love to talk to Al. I don't, again, I don't know him at all. I hear he's a very nice guy. I, you know, I'd be very objective. Um, I just, you just, and again, we don't know. The big thing with him is what's going to happen with this book because this book is coming out and I do not believe the book will be any kind of tell-all or anything like that. I think it's going to be about his brother and the two of them growing up together and all of that. But is he going to do press? That is a big, big question right now. And if he does, are people going to ask the right questions? Hopefully I'll get the opportunity if he does. But if he goes out and does press and it's, you know, super mainstream stuff out there that people don't know anything, you don't know anything from Van Halen but jump, then you're not going to get the real questions. So, yeah, uh, I I would agree with David, though. I'm not countering what David said. I think it's completely unlikely at the forum or anywhere else that anybody shows up on this.